With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Friends, the question is, if 1 by 2 into a minus a transpose plus i whole inverse is equal to 2 by lambda into this matrix for a is equal to this matrix, then lambda is. So we are given this relation and we need to find the value for lambda also we are having an a matrix. So I am starting with the left hand side of the given relation to us. The left hand side value we will evaluate and then we will find lambda. Okay, so 1 by 2 into a minus a transpose plus i whole inverse. First we will evaluate this thing. Okay, so this will be equal to what? This will be equal to C. This is 1 by 2 and A is what? A matrix. So we will write here A matrix that is minus 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 4, minus 3, 7, 2, 9. So this is the A matrix. Then minus A transpose. So for A transpose, we will convert the row into column. Okay, so A transpose will be or we can convert this column into row or vice versa anything okay so this will become what minus 2 5 7 this will be 3 minus 3 minus 4 2 and this will be 4 minus 3 9 now plus i so i is what i is the identity matrix so i am writing here 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 and then it's whole inverse so on solving this what we will get is see this is 1 by 2 into this is minus 2 minus minus plus c adding or subtracting of two matrices is done with the help of these corresponding elements only right this will be added with this or subtracted with this like this so here we are having minus 2 then this will what minus minus will make it plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 will be 0 and then we will have here plus 1 so the first element will be what it will be 1 similarly this is 3 and this will be minus 5 so that is minus 2 and then minus 2 plus 0 is what minus 2 only so i am writing here minus 2 then this will be 4 then minus 7 4 minus 7 is minus 3 and then plus 0 so this will be minus 3 similarly 5 minus 3 that is 2 and 2 plus 0 is 2 only so therefore we will write here 2 okay then here we are having minus 4 then minus minus this will be plus 4 so minus 4 plus 4 will get cancelled then plus this is corresponding to them so this, this is plus 1 so it will be 1 only so I will write here 1. Similarly, this is minus 3, then minus is multiplied here. So, minus 3, minus 2 is minus 5, then plus 0. This will be only minus 5. Okay, so we will write here minus 5. Now, see, this is 7, then minus will be multiplied here also. So, 7 minus 4 is what? 3, then 3 plus 0 will be 3 only. Then 2 minus minus 3, that is 5. And 5 plus 0 will be 5 only. Similarly, 9 minus 9 is 0, then plus 1 will be, we will write here 1. Okay, so this is what we are getting. So now we will multiply this 1 by 2 inside. So this will be 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 3 by 2. This will be 1. This will be 1 by 2. This will be minus 5 by 2. This will be 3 by 2. This will be 5 by 2. And this will be 1 by 2. So this will be the matrix which we will obtain after multiplying. And its inverse we need to find. So first let us take this matrix equal to B. This is the B matrix. So first now we will find the determinant of B. Okay, because we need to find its inverse. So first we will check that determinant of B is equal to 0 or not. Okay, so determinant of B will be equal to 1 by 8 minus 15 by 4 plus 15 by 4. Okay, and then here we are having minus and this is minus 9 by 8 minus 25 by 8. 8 and then minus 1 by 2 okay so if i simplify this so this will be cancelled so here we will be having 1 by 8 and this will be minus and here we are having minus 9 if i'm taking 8 as lcm so here i'm getting minus 9 then here minus 25 and this will become minus 4 so this is coming as minus of 1 by this is minus of 38 so it will become plus 38 okay so it will be 1 by 8 plus 38 by 8 that is equal to 39 by 8 okay so this is the value for determinant of b that means determinant of b is not equal to 0 so inverse exists now in order to find b inverse we know that b inverse is what b inverse is equal to adjoint adjoint of 
B upon determinant of B. Okay, so adjoint of B we will calculate how first we will calculate the cofactor matrix of B and then we will find its transpose to get the adjoint. So first I am writing the B matrix here. So B matrix was 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 3 by 2 1 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2 then 3 by 2 5 by 2 and 1 by 2. Okay, so this was matrix B. Now we find its cofactor. Okay, so cofactor, cofactor matrix of B will be equal to what? See, first we will find its B11. So B11 will be equal to. Or let us take this cofactor matrix B equal to C. Okay, so the C, then C11 will be equal to what? Cofactor matrix of B I am taking equal to C. So first element is C11. So that will be equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 into leaving first row first column and rest determinant. So this is 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2. This is 5 by 2 and this is 1 by 2. So on solving them we were getting the value for C11 equal to this will be 1 by 4 plus 25 by 4. So that is coming equal to 26 by 4. This is C11. Similarly, we will find C12 that is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 into leaving first row second column determinant of other terms that is minus this is 1 minus 5 by 2. This is 3 by 2 and this is 1 by 2. It's determinant we need to find. So this thing will be equal to what? See minus sign will be there because power is odd. And then here we are having 1 by 2 plus 15 by 4. Okay. So this thing is coming equal to C12 is coming equal to minus 17 by 4. Similarly, we are going to calculate C13. So that will be equal to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 3 into determinant of leaving first row third column. So we will be finding determinant of this 1, 1 by 2, this is 3 by 2 and this is 5 by 2. It's determinant value. So C13 will be equal to, this is positive. So 5 by 2 minus 3 by 4 that is equal to 10 minus 3 that is equal to 7 by 4. Okay, so now we will find C21 leaving second row first column that is minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into determinant of minus 1 minus 3 by 2. This is 5 by 2 and this is 1 by 2. On solving it, we are getting this C21 equal to minus 1 by 2 then plus 15 by 4 and on solving it that is coming equal to minus 2 plus 15 that is equal to positive 13 but because power is odd so this will be having minus here so that that will become minus 13 by 4. Similarly we will find C22. So C22 will be equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 into determinant of 1 by 2, 3 by 2, minus 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. On solving it so the value is coming equal to C22 is coming equal to this is positive so 1 by 4 plus 9 by 4 that is coming equal to 10 by 4. Now C23. Okay, so C23 that will be equal to minus 1 to the power 2 plus 3 leaving second row and third column determinant of the other terms that is 1 by 2 minus 1. This is 3 by 2. This is 5 by 2. It's determinant. Okay, so that will be equal to C23. 2, 3 will be equal to 5 by 4 and this will be plus 3 by 2 that is coming equal to 5 plus 6 divided by 4 that is coming equal to 11 by 4 okay 11 by 4 but see minus sign is there because power is odd that means here we will be having negative similarly here we will be having negative so this is minus 11 by 4. Similarly, now we will find C31. So C31 will be equal to minus 1 to the power 3 plus 1 into determinant of leaving third row first column. That is minus 1 minus 3 by 2, 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2. It's determinant. So on solving this, we are getting its determinant equal to 5 by 2 plus 3 by 4. So that is coming equal to 10 plus 3 by 4. 4, which is equal to 13 by 4. This is the value for C3, 1. Now we will calculate C3, 
2. So C3 2 will be what? Minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 into leaving third row second column. So determinant of 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 and here we are having 1 then minus 5 by 2 its determinant. So on calculating this C3 2 is coming equal to minus sign will be there and then this is minus 5 by 4 plus 3 by 2. So, on taking the LCM 4, this will be minus 5 plus 6 by 4, that is be equal to minus 1 by 4. Okay, now we will find C3, 3, that will be equal to what? That will be equal to minus 1 raised to power 3 plus 3 into determinant of 1 by 2 minus 1, 1, 1 by 2. On solving it, we will get 1 by 4 plus 1. Okay, power will be positive. This will be positive because power is even. So 1 by 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5 by 4. So now we are going to write the cofactor matrix. The cofactor matrix. Cofactor matrix of B is what it is coming as. It was C. So C is equal to. So C11 was 26 by 4. C12 was minus 17 by 4. C13 was 7 by 4. Similarly C21. C21 was equal to minus 13 by 4. C22 came out to be 10 by 4. And C23 was minus 11 by 4. Similarly, C31 came out to be 13 by 4. C32 was 1 by 4. And C33 was 5 by 4. So, this is the cofactor matrix C. This is the cofactor matrix of B. Now we need to find adjoint of B. So adjoint, adjoint of B matrix is nothing but the transpose. It is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So this adjoint of B will be equal to row changed into column. So this is 26 by 4 then minus 17 by 4. And here we will be having 7 by 4. Then this will be minus 13 by 4 and then 10 by 4 and then minus 11 by 4 and here we are having 13 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and 5 by 4 okay so this is the value for the matrix of adjoint of b this is matrix adjoint of b now we need to find b inverse so b inverse is nothing but 1 upon determinant of B into adjoint of B. Okay, so determinant of B was 39 by 8. So 1 upon 39 by 8 will make it 8 by 39 into what? Adjoint of B matrix. So that is into 26 by 4 minus 17 by 4, 7 by 4. And here we are having minus 13 by 4. This is 10 by 4 and this is minus 11 by 4 and here we are having 13 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and 5 by 4. Okay, so this is what? This is adjoint of B and adjoint of B into determinant of B is giving us B inverse. So what we took as B? B value we took as that 1 upon 2 A minus A transpose plus I. Okay, that was B. Calculated that came equal to B and its inverse was equal to B inverse. Okay, that means this value is coming equal to this. Okay, so that means we are getting this value equal to this. But if you look at the question, then here we are given the value of this whole thing is equal to this. So that means we can equate this and what we have derived right now both. Okay, okay so therefore we are going to equate this 8 upon 39 and this matrix that is 26 by 4 minus 17 by 4 and 7 by 4 and here we are having minus 13 by 4 then here 10 by 4 then here minus 11 by 4 and here we are having 13 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and 5 by 4 so this thing we are going to equate with the given thing that is this thing is equal to 2 by lambda and the matrix which is given that is lambda minus 13 minus lambda by 3 lambda by 3 minus 17 10 minus 1 7 minus 11 and 5. So on equating these two matrix what we can say about lambda is 
so on comparing these two we can say that therefore the value for 2 lambda into this because this is scalar this is multiplied by each of the elements similarly this is also scalar it will also get multiplied okay so this is multiplied with this so 2 by lambda into minus 13 so this term will be corresponding equated with this corresponding term that is 8 upon 39 into 26 by 4 so on solving this we will get it as 4 by 3 will be equal to 2 by lambda into lambda minus 13 on solving this we get 4 by 3 okay so that means we are getting the value as this 4 and 2 will get cancelled and 1 2 will be left here lambda multiplied here so 2 lambda is coming equal to this 3 3 will be multiplied here so 3 into lambda minus 3 into 13 that is 39 okay so from here we are getting the value of lambda that is coming equal to 39 this is the required answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.